in the presence of the flag of our country, emblem of the Constitution, and remembering the principles for which it stands. Your Honor, first item on the calendar is item number 13, Ernest in custody. Sorry, we have received a copy of the complaint. Your Honor, his uh, true name and date of birth do appear on um, We wait for the reading of the complaint. He enters not guilty pleas to all the charges, denials to all the allegations, and he'd ask for appointment of the public defender's office, and he has been advised of his constitutional rights. At this point, the people are respectfully requesting the court set no bail in light of penal code section 1270.5. All right. Yes? Yes. All right. We'll accept the time waiver, set time waiver dates. It is a fact that hate crimes are on the rise. That's why my office committed resources to fighting hate crimes. We're sending a strong message through our prosecutions that have tripled in the last year and public outreach that hate won't be tolerated in our neighborhoods. Anyone who commits a heinous act like we saw this past weekend, will be held accountable. That have been working around the clock on this case. I want to thank them for their work. A few moments ago, the defendant was arraigned on the following criminal charges. One count of murder with a special circumstance. The special circumstance being that Lori Kay was killed because of her religion. That makes it a special hate crime circumstance that elevates the murder in the first degree to a special circumstance murder eligible for the death penalty or life without the possibility of parole. Advocates who have been working throughout the weekend and night in assisting the victim. In addition to the hate crime special circumstance allegation, which means that if the defendant is convicted of all charges, he faces life without the possibility of parole or the death penalty. This is a decision that we will uh, look at shortly. There is an additional 95 years to life in prison for the three attempt murder charges, plus seven years for the burning of the mosque. So the defendant faces life without the possibility of parole or death, and he also faces 103 years to life on the other charges. Already been brought up in court. We want to make sure that we secure just Hate crimes are one of the few crimes where intent has to be proven why somebody committed a crime. This is why extensive investigation takes place as to what happened before, during, and after that gives us a window into the intent, the motivation behind the killing. In this case, the evidence led us to charging the hate crimes based on religion. A lot of questions I might not be able to answer. In addition, we're only a couple of days.